What's going on, guys? Nameless here. I'm alongside Liar. We're here to make a very special announcement. We have a full team ready for Black Ops 2 and for the end of Modern Warfare 3. Um, Ray, I would like you to announce our squad. All right. So for those of you that don't know or that don't follow us on Twitter, um, we picked up our old two players, Parasite and Dito, who we won two events with on Modern Warfare 3. And we have a lot of chemistry together. Unfortunately, we weren't able to go to EGL 8 together. But we are back now, so we've been teaming probably for a total of about three or four months. So we definitely have our chemistry down. We were scrimming today against uh, Fear. We 5-0'd them, and we've been looking really good. We just started practicing today, and we're looking to play the 360 Icons tournament next weekend on Saturday. It's actually $2,500, and it's going to be pretty big, I think. Yeah, first place is uh, 1600 which is um, that's a lot for uh, you know a free entry tournament online. So that should be um, really fun. There's 380 teams currently signed up. So if you guys want to get in, you might want to sign up soon. They might have to close it at around the 512 mark. Um, yeah, so I'm really pumped for that tournament. Um, we got a lot of things planned for the YouTube channel as well. I know um, the Ace of Phase and uh, Liar has a few things planned as well. Yeah, we've actually been recruiting people, not only players, but we also have a coach now, J. Lou, and a media editor slash manager, Jose, who's like one of the best competitive editors that I've seen in a long time, and we're lucky to have him on the team. So he's going to be making up a schedule for us like with things like Ace of Phase and these new ideas that we have for the channel. Of course, we're still going to be doing the listen-ins, the double dominance, and then we're going to be doing tip and trick videos for Black Ops 2. Hopefully, a couple of us will be getting the game early, and the editing and things will be sick on the videos because Jose is really a good editor. And uh, like I said, we're really lucky to have them. But back to the, uh, I guess back to the tournament, um, it's free to enter. I don't know if we mentioned that. So if you guys want to have the chance to play against us or against other pros, you really don't have anything to lose. And it actually pays out to the top four teams. So mm -hmm. the brackets are randomized. Um, so like all the, all the pro teams could be put on one side of the bracket. And who knows, you could be on the other side of the bracket with, you know, like a free ride. So you really don't have anything to lose. Just go to the website. We'll have the link in the description to the actual tournament and uh, why don't we talk about another tournament organization UMG which you're probably that's more your home ground there. yeah um, UMG Chicago um, it's actually based in Downers Grove Illinois which is about 30 minutes out of Chicago um, they've had a few of them so far they've been really successful um, each UMG Chicago tournament has been a hundred percent payout and um, you know that's very rare when it comes to tournaments normally um, these uh, owners of these companies who run these lands try to take a lot of money out of it. But, you know, Jeff does a really good job of, uh, you know, prom promoting the event and, you know, getting the players their money as fast as possible. Um, we actually won the last UMG. I know you guys are familiar with that from our last videos. Um, we won that with this squad that we have right now. And uh, that's the first major tournament that's going to be in Black Ops 2. Um, it's for $10,000. It's at Game Pazzo in um downers grove illinois and we're we're going to be looking to you know defend our championship going into that tournament right and there's also going to be a 2v2 tournament and a free-for-all tournament as well they haven't really announced the prizing on that yet it all depends on how many people sign up it's probably going to be like 50 dollars uh per person like it was in umg chicago the last mm -hmm. time so the prizes can get really big last time it was 500 dollars a piece for the 2v2 so it was a thousand dollars for first place, which was, was a lot. When we won the four v four, we only got about seven hundred and fifty dollars. So if you're not comfortable with the four v four and you guys live in that area and you you know you have a friend friend you want to bring, then just go right ahead. It's not that much money, and you know anything can really happen in two v two, especially on a game that's only going to be out about a month. So just you might want to take your chances on that. There's a lot of opportunities coming your way. Yeah, it's going to be huge. Uh, I know all the t all the teams are coming out to that tournament. I mean, it's the first big major tournament. It's a month right after the game comes out. You know, it's going to be it's going to be tough competition. Who are you looking forward to? You know, competing against when the game comes out, Ray? Uh, I want to play against Envy. I think a lot of people are hyping them up. You know, they just announced their roster to be Stainville, Proofy, and Jcap. Jcap yeah. making his bigger turn. So he was like uh, the best player in Black Ops One in everyone's eyes. So it'll be good to play against him. See how good he is. You know, he took basically the entire year off. And now he is back on one of the top squads, so it would be nice to play against him, I think. Yeah, I'm just pumped to uh, play against everybody, man. Uh, I know all, a lot of the older Black Ops players are going to be coming back, and we're all going to be in uh, Game Pass. So it's going to be you know, kind of interesting to see how 
you know, they're going to run that event with so many people there. I know they're going to have an amazing turnout. And so um, if you guys are around the area or even if you're not, you should definitely try coming out here. Um, all the pros are going to be there. It's, def- it's definitely going to be a fun environment. Um, they do a lot of giveaways. And uh, like I said, Jeff runs the event very smooth. So shout out to him and Emily Kate. Yeah, and the event is actually at a really good time for you guys if you want to head out to it, even to spectate or, you know, because they're having it at the end of December, which is when everyone is basically on winter break. Mm -hmm. So if you want to just fly out there, you don't have school or even drive out there if you're close enough, you won't have school, you can spectate. It's a really good time. There's a lot of places to eat around the venue it's really in a nice location there's a lot of nice hotels near it as well as overall a really good area there's a pretty big movie theater like 10 minutes away that we went to we actually saw expendables too the last time Mm -hmm. which was a really good movie and uh but yeah it's a really good event like uh some venues like i-46 that we went to they weren't that fun but i mean this event it seems like it would be a good time to just come and spectate they have it's kind of like an arcade they had don't they have computers set up that you can play yeah they have uh Game Pazzo is like a really um, unique place. They have a bunch of big screen TVs where you can play Connect on or you can play, you know, Xbox on there. And they have 15 computers lined up on the corner of the room right when you walk in. And they're all extremely good computers. You can play, you know, League of Legends, StarCraft. They have all those downloaded right into the hard drive. So, you know, if you just, you know, buy your pass and you go in there to play, you can play all day. You can play any game you want on, the, on those computers. So it's really cool. Yeah, guys, so make sure to check out the, that event as well as the 360 Icons Online Championship is what they're calling it. We will be competing in both of those, and we'll probably be streaming it or we'll be on stream. That If you want to follow us on Twitter, we will uh, retweet the links, of course, since we're in America this time. We can actually do that. Yeah. At I-46, we didn't have the service to be able to do that, so that kind of sucked. But uh, anyways, guys, that's going to wrap up this video. We just wanted to get the announcement out there and talk about our plans for Black Ops 2 just a little bit. So hope you guys are excited for the squad being back. Hopefully we can bring some more titles to the phase name. And do you have any else? anything else you want to say? Or Yeah, guys, uh, I just thank you guys so much for supporting us for this time. Uh, you know, we're nearing 50,000 subscribers. I'm definitely going to do a crazy giveaway uh, right before that hits. Hopefully we can get it before Black Ops 2, but until then, peace out, guys. See ya. Yeah, oh, was my God. Now, I was, now, everyone's, now everyone's getting mad because I'm fucking around about Moho. God, people are so weird. Hey, you just stop actually talking think so that much I, shit. I, I, that, right? Stop talking shit, man. Desk. Desk. Two of them. Two desks. Two desks. One billboard stun. That's good stunned. stun, Gerak Billboard stun. Dude. Stop <laughs> stun twice at billboards. Dude, come on. The last guys are up top. Moho! Moho! Quit! 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 <laughs> Moho! Did you quit, dude? Yo, Ricky sucks. Bro. Nah, dude, Ricky, every re- defense round, I would just hate him off the desk. <laughs> He's so pissed, dude. <laughs> Dude! Oh my! Look what I just tweeted, dude. Victory! Good work, comrades! Dude! Bo- <laughs>